Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to discuss an amazing SEO Chrome extension which allows you to check your website data and also spy on your competitors. The extension is called SEO Meta in one click and it's an extremely useful tool for pulling individual page level data and getting a quick snapshot of page elements. I've been using this extension on a regular basis to view metadata, image files, headings and more. So let's take a look. I'm going to type here SEO Meta in one click, Chrome extension. And I will click over here, which is the Google chrome.google.com. And I'm going to install this and show you how you can use this. As you can see here, it checks main SEO information in all metadata. It checks your header structure, which is the H1, H2, H3, all the way till H6 tags. It shows how many images and links are in the page and also the all text, uh, all data. It controls what you share on Facebook and Twitter. And finally, it verifies your HTML, CSS, ranking and more with external tools. If you scroll down, you'll see a detailed information of this extension. It displays all the metadata and it main SEO information for the best SEO. It's a tool that displays all metadata tags and main SEO information very clearly. By using this tool, we hope you can better manage and improve your SEO and visibility on internet. What it is focused on is title and its length, description and its length, URL, meta robots, displaying headers, number of images with and without alt and more. So I'm going to install this now. I'm going to add this to Chrome and I'm going to add this extension. And this extension will now be installed. As you can see, it has been installed over here and I will now take you to amazon.end page and what I'm going to do is I'm going to in so I'm going to click over here and first of all pin this I'm going to pin this and now I'm going to click over here on this icon which is the extension and immediately you will see the title which is 98 characters it's showing in red the recommended character length is 30 to 65 characters and because it has exceeded so it's showing in red the description which is online shopping, India, buy mobiles, laptops, etc. The keywords, the URL, the canonical tag. Uh, you will see further down headers from H1 till H6. There is no H1 tag over here, which is really alarming because each page should have at least one H1 tag, especially the home page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Google now and I'm going to search if this information is correct or not. This is the Amazon India page and I'm going to write over here Amazon India and you will see over here online shopping site in India shop online for mobiles books dot 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 there are three dots which means that the character limit for the meta title has exceeded which is why it is getting cut off over here and also the meta description this is the meta description again cameras and books it is getting cut off over here it is not completed so I'm going to go come back and click on this extension again and here you will see Amazon Online Shopping India, buy mobiles, laptops, and over here it shows mobiles, lap books, and watches. So it's getting cut off at books. And here it's getting cut off on also books. So it shows, if I come back and click on this extension again, it shows there are 28 H2 tags, no H1 tags. I'm gonna go see over here on the top headers, you will see summary, headers, images, links, social, and tools. If I click on headers, it will show all the H tags. So because in summary, it was showing there's no H1 tag. So here that tag is absent. But the H2 tags are top picks for your page, big savings. So top picks for your page is over here. Big savings is here. So all of these have been marked as H2 tags. As you can see, over get flat 10% upgrade your home. Get flat 10% and upgrade your home. All of these have been marked as H2 tags. I'm going to click on headers again and here you will see all the H2 tags which are 28 tags. There are no H3, H4, H5 and H6 tags which is really surprising because each page should have a combination of tags with at least one H1 tag. If I go to images again you will see over here different images and that although the alt text has been given for the first one but for the second image which is which you can see on your screen there's no the alt text is again given but there's no title and if i come down further you will see all the images and all the alt text and the title further if i go to links 
you will see over here all the links that are connected and in social you will see all the social media image source twitter etc and finally in tools which is very important it gives you it connects you with different tools which will take test the page is mobile friendly or not it will analyze performance with gt matrix it will this is a third party tool gt matrix it will analyze performance with page speed of google now this is the home page of amazon india if i go to an inside page let's say home and kitchen and then click on this extension again it will show a different extension over it will show different data over here so as you can see it shows home store buy home and kitchen products amazon.in again 82 characters is too long description home and kitchen store shop for home products etc the keywords here are home and kitchen amazon.in and here there is one h1 tag as you can see whereas on the home page they did not put any h1 tag so let's see what the h1 tag is the h1 tag is buy products across home kitchen garden furniture which is over here so this has been marked as h1 tag and if i click on this again and let's see more information what else is there they have h3 tags over here they have h2 so they have one h1 15 h2 102 h3 tags and if i go to images for this image and for most of the images that i can see they have not added any alt text alt text is the text that you need to add in the back end of your website when the image is uploaded so that google spiders can identify what the image is all right so let's assume that i'm over here on my website and i will show you where you can find that similarly i'm going to go to another website waltdisneycompany.com and here i'm again going to click on this extension and here you will see that the title is very small they have only added 32 23 characters and it says walt disney company the description looks fine it's in green they have not added any keywords so the keywords are missing and the url canonical are all fine and so they have one h1 tag which i assume should be this one the walt disney company so let's take a look at it if i come to headers so that walt disney company is showing up over here as h1 and they have also used h2 tags and h6 tags so there's no h3 h4 and h5 and if i go to images and see how they have structured their images data so this image does not have any alt text so let me go back over here and this is the back end of a page that i have and you will see the focus keyword over here for each page so this is the coaching page and you will see that i have added the keyword coaching training digital marketing marketing as focus keyword and if i come back over here and click on seo you will see the keywords which is what i showed you just now and if i come down over here and click on edit snippet you will see the meta title and the meta description which is what shows up over here all right so each website for each website individual page we need to add meta title meta description so that the page ranks better on google and for we need to add a combination of h tags all from h1 to h6 and also for each image you need to have an alt text so that google understands what the image is about all right so let me take another website i'm going to go with voldemir over here and i'm going to click on this extension and you will see that it is 77 characters which is too long so i'm going to go to google now and just look up voldemir voldemir water park and see if the information is correct or not so you can see that the title tag is getting broken up over here after water park and if i come back over here to voldemir's home page and click you will see that this word water park is where the data gets cut off and no keywords the canonical url is not defined and they have used three h1 tags 40 41 h2 tags and 18 h3 tags and these are all the links so i'll go to headers again and i will see world me water what world me park and water world is the h1 tag and if i come to tools what i'm going to do is i'm going to test these couple of these tools and so that you can take a look i'm going to first check if the page is mobile friendly or not i'm going to click over here and it'll direct me to the mobile friendly test by google and it's testing the live url to check if the page is mobile friendly or not similarly i'm going to click again and i'm going to check the 
let's analyze the performance with page speed so i'm going to click over here it will automatically open up so it will test the page speed for mobile and desktop so just let me go back still it's still testing and if i go to any inside page let's say i go to attractions page and i'm going to click again over here and you will see that the description itself is missing which is not good really because each page like i said needs to have meta title and meta description and this page has four h1 tags let me go back and see the okay so for mobile let's check the speed the speed for the mobile is 57 out of 100 which is which puts it in the intermediate level time for time to interact is 6.1 seconds and it gives you recommendations and opportunities on how you can increase the page speed by adding ser server images in next generation formats eliminating render blocking resources properly sizing the images unfortunately the image some of the images are not sized properly uh, reducing initial server response time so their themes plugins and server specifications all contribute they'll have to look in this and if i go up and click on desktop it will show me the speed with which the desktop or the overall performance so the overall performance is 80 out of 100 for on desktop and on mobile it is 57 if I go to the mobile speed test, so it shows that the page is not mobile friendly, which is again alarming. And this is something which they have to look into. It shows over here what are the issues. It shows that clickable elements too close together and text is too small to read. So this is something which they need to look into. This is not mobile friendly and most of the searches these days happen on mobile, right? So, so not only does this tool show you the data but also connects you with certain tools now there's also gt metrics over here which is again a third party testing tool and you will also find some validating html and validate css tools and if if you people some of you are might be beginners so you don't have to get into all of these you just need to look at the summary you need to look at what is the title and what is the description whether the keywords are present or not are added or not and you need to focus on the h tags Similarly, when it comes to headers, you can identify what are the H1 tags that your website has or even your competitor website has. Right? So that's it for this video. I hope you found this useful. It's very easy to install this Chrome extension. So I hope that you will install it and get moving. Thank you.